Hello Israel. <clears throat> Today I just want to go over a little bit more detail as to why Yah has sent us to Europe. And let me just say, I'm not telling anybody to come to Europe. He has not directed me in that regards. There are other people out there that he is ministering to, giving him revelations about that in terms of start the starting of the exodus or start packing, preparing yourself for the exodus. And what I'm going to read to you is what he has given me probably over the last eight or nine months. And what he has given me is of the spiritual nature. So in that first video when I said the exodus has begun, it has begun spiritually, not physically, but spiritually. So this is the, um, so on January the 3rd, 2023, he said, Arise, O Israel, you are going home. I shall never fail you. Listen to me very, very carefully. You are going home in the wink of an eye. My ways are above all. And then um, on June the 20th, 2022, which was a Monday, he gave me this. He said, warning to all, my son, you hold the keys to destroy all that try to prevent you from anchoring the foundation of pillars of my eternal kingdom. And then he goes on from there. And I think I've read this in the video about the Exodus. And so he said this on February the 6th, 20, 2023, which was a Monday. He said, this is your itinerary. Fly from here, which was Memphis, Tennessee, to Washington, D.C. Leave from Washington, D.C. to Germany. And then he said, you are establishing the gateway for the American exodus. Once again, this is all in the heavens. This is all spiritual. That is what he's having me do. I and my wife do. <clears throat> Then on July the 14th of last year, he said, You are going into the evil. The evil of Europe is connected to the evil of America. You shall be in Europe for years. In other words, you will be there, not the number four, but you will be there for years. The land needs healing. I am resurrecting my covenant people from the soil of Europe. Hitler knew these times would come. I used him for my purposes. Great harm came to my covenant people in Europe. This is a season of reckoning, of reckoning for Europe, and then he says, and Egypt. <clears throat> You are heading into the world stage from Europe, the power center for Satan. I think I might have read this also in the first one about the Exodus has begun. He says, in France, go to Paris and walk the land again as my messenger. Paris possesses many documents and artifacts of my kingdom. I want all of my treasures back. And then he goes on to say, I am refiguring the land mass of Europe. It is part of the nation of Israel. And then he said on July the 14th, 2022, Behold, nothing is as it appears. These are their end times. I am pulling the covers off of Europe. Europe is part of Israel. I make the land desolate, lush, and snowy. I am Yah. I shall make the land Eden again. Eden is Israel. Israel is Eden. That was on July the 14th. 
And then from there, so he says, from Germany, go to Egypt for the first time. From Egypt, go to France. In France, reclaim my jewels. Plunder all nations. In Egypt, blow thy shafar. There has been great blood shed in Egypt. My nation cries from the soil of Egypt. Then he said on July the 29th, he said, it is time to leave America. It is no longer your home. It was your land of oppression. And he said, by scourging you, you broke the curse which was upon my people and upon the forthcoming nation of Israel. And then he said, we thank you. And then he said, you leave this land as my ambassador for the nation of Israel. And then on June the um, 12th, 2022, which was a Sunday, he said, you can't change anything about you. I created you. I am the creator. I am Yah. I am the master. Being an apostle is a focal point for the masses. Noah did not have a title. He had an assignment. Your journey is an assignment. I need you. You need me. We are one. Then he goes on to say, he says on June the 20th, 2022, in the forthcoming months and years, you shall travel the world, establishing relationships with worldly leaders, leaders, diplomats, and the rich to reestablish my covenant people back to their covenant land. I will also use the evil to assist and help you in the second exodus. These leaders shall help you in locating and gathering the treasures of my eternal kingdom. I am transforming you into a diplomat. And then back again on July the 14th, 2022, he says, I shall use the wealth and resources of the rich nations to return my people home. I shall plunder them. The exodus shall begin within years. In other words, let me clarify that. The physical exodus shall begin in years. And even in that, over the last year or so, he has given me things and then he says, I have changed my mind. I am going to do such and such. So even in this, the exodus shall begin within years. I'm just letting you know, it's like a caveat. He, he, can, he can change that years of years. He can shorten that time. Then he says, the times are extremely short. I have changed the times. I have changed your times. I am Yah. As it says. <clears throat> then on August the 17th, last year, 2022, he says, Many nations shall come to you to assist in the reestablishing of my nation of Israel. And I think I might have read this um, prophecy or this, this information to you in the previous um, video, but he said, let me see, Peter was martyred before finishing the laying of my new kingdom. From his death to your birth, my kingdom laid in limbo. You are the redeemer of my kingdom. Peter's martyrdom 
was a strategic kingdom event. He had to die so that my kingdom could prevail. Then Yah goes on to say, my ways are beyond all human comprehension. Then he said, your birth marked the beginning of the completion of my kingdom. The establishment of my kingdom coincides with the re-establishing of my covenant people into a, into a nation. Your life, your calling, your journey is ordained. Nothing can stop you. Once you are finished, then the Messiah will we return to reign. Then on, on July the 4th, he gave me about eight pages of that from going back and forth. But once again, this is July the 4th, 2022, which was a Thursday. He said, I had to shock you to approve you. He says, your hardships have greatly prepared you to bring my people home. I am refiguring my earth for the exodus. My exodus has enveloped you. You have enveloped my exodus. Then he says, from France, go to Rome, to the bastion of evil, the mother harlot. I shall strike Rome as I did with Sodom and Gomorrah. And I believe I read this to you in the previous video. Then he goes on to say, on this January the 3rd of this year, Nothing can stop you from returning my covenant people to their covenant land. Then on February the 6th of this year, he said, This is the end of times. This is their end of times. And then on January 29th of this year, he said this. This is it. This is the appointed time. And he went on to say, comprehend this. This is the end. These are the end times. And then he went on to say back in November of last year, the 12th, he says, my kingdom has been spiritually resurrected. So these are all of the supernatural. <clears throat> my kingdom has come. He's right there. He says, when we, he said, when you arrive in Germany, this triggers numerous biblical events indicating the end of the end and the beginning of my new kingdom, the gathering of my nation of Israel, and the forthcoming of Yahshua, our Messiah. And then he ends it off by saying, um, he said this back in um, October 15th of last year, the exodus has begun spiritually. <clears throat> and one of the things that he also said to me along the way, he says that, when he speaks to me, um, it's not in a linear manner. He said it's in a dimensional manner. So me as a human, I'm thinking when you say today is Sunday, tomorrow is Monday, that's the way I think. So sometimes when I read his prophecies, he always tells me, this is not a human thing. This is a spiritual thing. And so it's dimensional. So some of the things that I've read to you, they might overlap they have already begun. Um, and that's what I have for you today. And also, if you, if you notice, um, we have moved again. Um, probably within that first week, first couple of days, we met a wonderful woman who's from Liberia. And so she has become our eyes, our ears, and our mouth in many ways. And um, at a point when we landed and we got off the plane, we went to one hotel, we went to another hotel, and then 
probably within that second week, she invited us to come and stay with her for a while. So that is where, that is how Yah is moving us. And so in that, um, the next video that I'll probably, the next video I will introduce my wife to you. And we're going to have additional information for you. But at this point, that is where we are. We are um, fighting and we have, there's been great pushback. This past week, we went to their government agency to establish residency. And we didn't have the proper paperwork. What they wanted from us was a form stating that we had a permanent address from a landlord. And so in that, Yah has closed that door. And so once again, um, his ways are way above our ways. And so at this point, we, we are waiting for him to direct us, direct me as to the next thing that he wants done. But I'm going to tell you this, he, he gave me some information <clears throat> probably about three weeks ago. So pay attention to Europe, the whole of Europe, I don't know, in the next couple of weeks or so. But he's going to do something biblical um, to get the world's attention as to what, he, what he's getting ready to do. In other words, he's getting ready to gather his people from, from the world. So pay attention to that, and I say, Shalom.